This is the video I wish I could have watched when I just got started with Bitscap. If you're new to Bitscap and don't know how to get started, this video will make so much sense. Like, I really wish I could have had access to something like this when I just got started. I'm gonna cover everything that you need to know to understand how a bot works, different features of the bot, and how to set it up. Now, this was a one-on-one -on -one lesson with one of my members inside CPA, my private crypto community. So, I went over about this and explained little detail by detail on how to set up the bot properly. That being said, let's get started. All right, cool. So we define the goal. What is the next step? We need to find a profitable crypto coin, a coin with good volatility. And we have different ways on approaching this. We have Bitscap, we have TradingView, we have Binance, we have Trading Bots, sorry, we have KuCoin and we have CoinMarketCap. All of these are ways to find in profitable crypto coin. Uh, today we're going to dive in into Binance, uh, sorry, Bitscap. So first things first, grid bot, now select the exchange, I'm going to do Polonix. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for profitable crypto coins, since I'm going to be using Bitscap to find those coins i'm gonna click here and then i have different methods i have 30 days seven days and three days depending on your goal you're gonna choose the method that you will be deploying so if you want to make 30 percent in 30 days then you want to be selecting the 30 days if you want to make 20 percent in, in seven days then you're gonna choose this one and so on so yeah let's go ahead and select the 30 days and then you're gonna click on I don't know why it's not Polonix, 30 days. Okay, yeah, it's already there. Cool. Now, all of the crypto coins that are shown here, can you see all of these? You can see them? Yeah. Okay, cool. So all of these coins are coins that have been moving sideways. So they have some potential for you to deploy the bot with. All we have to do is optimize the grid, meaning increasing the results, and getting the confirmations, meaning that it's on the right timing and that it's worth it. So that's where we're gonna dive in today. Okay, so let's click on the first one, ICP. Once you click on it, it's gonna be shown right here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick back test following the smart strategy. We're gonna do a quick back test just to see if there is room for us to optimize and actually get that percentage wise, the, those 30%. Yep, let's keep going. So what else? Cool. So we're going to backtest it first. First, we want to see, is this coin going to give me the returns that I want? If yes, then awesome. In this case, specifically, we are getting at a 41% return in 30 days. Now <laughs> that is hitting more than 1% per day, which is good. That's what we're looking for, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really good. So, but again, we're still on, on step number one we're still finding the coin so what is step number two now we need to do some technical analysis and that's going to be with the cba 2.0 indicator coin market cap rsi and close to support so we're going to do that technical analysis here of this cryptocurrency of icp i'm going to first go to coin market cap yeah so here we are in coin market cap and we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to search for that cryptocurrency so icp and then click on it in and now we're going to analyze some of the things right here so in coin market cap we look at things like the market cap ideally we're looking for something higher than 100 million in this case this cryptocurrency has 5 billion wow. and then in ranking we're looking for something below 40 percent sorry we're looking for something under 400 yeah, that was it. Under so, 400. I remember that number. <laughs> yeah. So, talking about market cap and ranking, this coin does meet those two conditions that we need to continue deploying it. So we're good with that. Now let's go ahead and go to so the market. The market view. cap has to be a above 100 million. Yeah, 100 so million. So in coin market cap, sorry, in what is this called? Trading, trading view. view. Yeah, we're going to be looking at the CBA 2.0 indicator and 
the RSI, right? Which ideally we're looking for something below 53. And this, in this yeah. case, is just, just below it. So it's yeah. like right in there, right in the spot. So on, on, on trading view, we're looking at the CBA 2 point indicator, making sure that it's on the confirmation. So in this case, it has consolidation on, as we can see, trend is long, momentum is bullish, and the okay. RSI is also giving us um, good, good 52. It's barely there. So those so, three things you want to look at. Yeah, indeed. Question also for BitScap. I just have to get the advanced, right? I have to pay for the, the like 30, 50 a month? Yeah, for something. Yeah, that's right. Because you said something about uh, once you have the five bots, they make um, money, you can eventually get the, the one you can get more bots with profit okay. from that. It's like in the video or something you said. Eventually you can move up to the other if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, that's right. At the moment, you don't need to have the advanced one because probably it's too much, right? In terms uh, yeah, of yeah. payment. And yeah. also that one is recommended when you have over, probably over six to the point. Okay. So, so again, you have to find the optimum grid. Optimum grid is a combination of grid levels or plus grid range. That's what we're going to focus on. Simplicity always wins when it comes to launching the bot. So we're going to make it very, very simple. Now, we're going to go 30 days from the past. So right now it's the 7th of February and we're going to go 30 days back. Why 30 days? Because that's your goal. Your goal is to make 30% in 30 days. So we're going to go back 30 days and that's going to be on the 7th of January. Yeah, right here. And then we're going to adjust our high and low price to this new, to oh. this price, to this time frame. So the 7th of January, right here. We can use this tool, horizontal array, to identify that. Do you see this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to start back testing. Yeah. So let's see. Cool. So we define the 6th of January, and then we use this tool called price range, oh. and we measure from high price to low price to hit a, at about a 50%. That's kind of what we're looking for here. 50%. Okay, it's gonna look something like this. Perfect. Now we're gonna adjust this to this 50%. And this is the grid range and these are the grid levels. So now we're gonna do 10 grid levels. So I'm gonna set this up to 10 grid levels and I'm gonna backtest it the last 30 days. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna backtest it. And the result that I get, in this case, 7.26. I'm gonna copy and paste it here. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna do the same, but this time with 20 grid levels, then 30, then 40, and then 50, and then I'll move on to 40% grid range, then 30%, 20%, and 10%, and so on. Does that make sense? And the grid range, you just move it with the with the little with the mouse, right? Yeah. So we can see when we do with 20% grid level. Sorry, with 50% grid range and 20 grid levels, we can immediately see a huge increase. Oh, wow. We are getting about 37%, but we still have to optimize it a lot. So let's go ahead and do 30 grid levels and see what we get. Look at this, 64%. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, this is the power of optimizing. They're smaller, they're smaller lines, right? I mean, closer together? Yeah. 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 But you know, if you wouldn't have a systematic approach to deploy bots yeah so so do you do this work because it's gonna tell you hey so if you use these settings with this grid range using this coin then you're likely to get this percentage back yeah well, so yeah so we are done with 50 percent grid range we got a seven percent 37 percent 64 percent so far the highest and now we're gonna do the same this time with 40 percent grid range and then 30 percent grid range Okay. So we and stay the here. Is over and here the, on, where's the grid range? The grid levels right there? Is that where you're putting the number, the 30? That... Yeah. Mm -hmm. The grid range is from low price to high price. It's this 50% oh, okay. right here. Okay. Okay. Now the grid levels are this one right here. So if you, you have one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and adjust this and set it up to 40% because that's what we're going to do right now, 40%. So 
So I'm gonna adjust this to 40% using 50 grid levels and then back test it again. Let's see if we get something higher. Wow. Hey, it's a good coin. 66. <laughs> it is. It is a good coin. But there is still quite some, some optimization yeah. to do. Yeah. Wow. 77.49% 40, using 40 grid levels. So we're still optimizing this. Let's go ahead and do it with 30 grid levels and see what we get. 30 grid levels, back tested. Still at 40%? Oh yeah, we're still at the 40. Now we're up 80%. What? And this way it looks yeah. like it's going up. Well, so far we have done 30 grid levels, 40 grid levels, and 50 grid levels. Let me make sure that it's 30. 30 grid levels is actually 81%. So, yep, yeah, 81%. And now let's go ahead and do 20 grid levels. We are still at a 40% grid range, right? So yeah. we're still not there yet. You can see how the profit starts dropping. Yeah. Starts dropping. Okay. It means that the grid levels that are going to work out the best will actually be these ones right here. 30 and 40 percent. 30 and levels seems to be the grids with the highest return. So we're done with 50% and 40%. Let's go ahead and set this up to 30% and see what we get. 30% tends to be even more powerful because the lower the, the lower the okay, no the shorter the grid range the higher the risk but the higher the reward as well so you don't cover as much area though right oh, but it's hitting the, the it's hitting more often yeah yeah it's it's it, it's in grid range yeah as you can see but it's still within the grid range so it's not it hasn't got the grid range yeah. so we can see that we're getting 82% return using 10 grid levels. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the oh. same with 20. Yeah, and there is a still room for improvement. Let's go ahead and do 20. You can get that much percentage? No way. From one bot? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's why it works. That's so like well. double my money right there in 30 days. Wow, oh, should this much. be gonna be fun. Yeah, so Again, you have to follow this approach yeah. because it's going to allow you to understand which cryptocurrency, which settings are the ones that will work the best. So, so far, we can see that using a 30% grid range, we're getting 123% in the last 20, in the last 30 days with 20 grid levels wow. and a 30% grid range. About so it's 30. the highest so far. That's crazy. You've had bots that make that much over a hundred percent? Yeah, yeah, I have had bots that performed like that before. So it's all, it's just the right, like just doing it right, right? Exactly. Like pretty good yeah, before. Yeah, indeed. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're almost done. So we only have to do 50 grid levels and we we're almost, almost done. So let's do now 50 grid levels, 82. Wow. So, so the, yeah. It shows you down here the best 30, 20 and 30 at 30%. Yeah. Yeah, here we can take a look at this. We can see the best one probably will be 30% grid range with 20 grid levels. And it's gonna be about 123% in the last 30 days. Cool. So I'm gonna stick with that for now. And what you can do now is the very last step is you come back to market price again and you take the price range from market price and you said you set it at a 30% grid range, you adjust your low price and your high price as well. Then and you set up your grid levels. Okay. So everything related to this chart right here. So we want to use 30% grid range with 20 grid levels. Okay. And then before you deploy the bot, you want to make sure trailing up is activated, on protection is activated, trailing down disactivated. Stop loss, you activate it and it's going to be right below the low price. And then take profit, you can also activate it and hit it to your total PL percentage. So, yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. That's how you do Go it. Ahead. Thank you so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. I hope you got value, which is the most important thing. And if you want to get started launching crypto bots successfully and have access to a private community, private indicators, weekly calls, one on ones, and 
even crypto bot signals which is a new thing that i just got started make sure to check the first link in the description and i'll see you there